Hey guys, Zom Fox here, and today we're going to be talking about a certain player from the preseason who, considering the fact that we just finished preseason week two and there's pretty much one big headline, we know who we're talking about, the USFL MVP himself, Cavante Turpin. To put it simply, Cavante has had the by far best performance of arguably just any player in the preseason this year so far. Granted, we've only had one week, as, as I said before, a Hall of Fame game doesn't really count to me as actual preseason, like, you know, the week's. But in terms of the second week, the Cowboys recently just played the Chargers, and Kevontae Turpin, our boy, scored not one, but two separate return touchdowns. The first was a kickoff return touchdown. He simply got the kickoff, and he just ran pretty much as faster than everyone and went through all the holes correctly and just spe just literally blazed past everybody. It was a very solid return. You know, it was a simple return, but it was a really great one. And it was definitely a big thing, people going like, wow, this guy's really solid. Well, that was nothing. Because, like, literally in the same half, he will get a punt, and he would make an awesome cut move to just evade a tackler, make a couple other, or a sidestep, really, and then a couple other insanely great cuts to then just be able to get past everyone and just run straight for the end zone again. He scored two return touchdowns in one game. As everyone was saying, he was already pretty much viewed as going to be the main returner, but now it is unarguable he is their starting returner for both kick and punt returns. He's basically guaranteed a spot in the roster. And presumably, it was such a big deal. That, I mean, shows like Undisputed are actually just talking about how big an impact he has. Now, his big impact is something that Shannon Sharp, I do 100% agree with. And naturally, there's, there's a reason why this guy's a Hall of Famer. The fact is, his returns that he showed on that game against the Chargers are going to be massive impacts in the, I guess, in the realm of, you know, the slight little things on the outset. Things that won't show for him. Simply put, kickers are now going to be, and punters will be even more worried about kicking off to the returner. So in a sort of kickoff sense, there could be an accidental kick out of bounds to just try and make sure he doesn't get it, which could result in a 40-yard, you know, penalty. But really, the main one is punting. Players are, or kick, punters are not going to want to punt to him, so when they're punting these far away punts, you know, when they're punting from like their own 10, 20, and stuff like that, where they can't reach the end zone, they're going to be trying to punt the ball out of bounds, which not only guarantees that you're gaining extra yardage that you won't normally, but it could also lead to some shanked punts, which give you extra field positioning. To put it simply, it's one of those like slight marginal things that him being on your roster with this on tape out there now is a big deal. He scored a return touchdown in the playoffs in the USL. He just scored two in the preseason game. So it's a big deal. And the biggest thing is just the receiving core itself. Now, no one really thought of him as being a starting receiver, but currently they have four receivers who are either out or questionable due to multiple ter different kinds of injuries. And CeeDee Lamb, Michael Gallup, James Washington, Noah Brown. So there's a legit shot that week one, two, and three, Turpin ends up having to play a lot more at receiver than most people would have expected him, where he could actually show some impact. The biggest thing is in things like, you know, wildcat plays or, you know, end arounds giving him the ball and just having him run or doing those slant routes. As naturally, this guy led the league in receiving yards in the USFL. So, and his speed and size, if anything, his size helps him as it, you know, he's shorter, he's able to evade stuff and cut around faster, and that's been his biggest calling card. So, to put it simply, this man, he was spectacular. He's already guaranteed himself a roster spot, and thanks to the injuries, he might genuinely be playing at receiver for week one and two, like, substantially. So, it's great to see him succeed. Naturally, the first wave of cuts happened after the first week of preseason, and there's still, like, 40 players on NFL rosters. So, there's a good chance that we may be seeing upwards of potentially, like, 20 guys make NFL rosters. Which, as I said on the 50 player sign, if there's like 20 guys who make active rosters, that's a big deal. And especially with a guy like Turpin showing that, you know, all he needed was, you know, get some film out there in the USFL to make a team actually look at him, it's a big deal. Overall, this has been Zom Fox. If you enjoy this content, remember to notify us as I upload any videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, have a great night.